In this app, we're going to build our first video game. We're going to simulate the whack-a-mole game that you sometimes see at street fairs. We're going to learn several new basic gaming concepts in this app. We're going to learn how to use an Android view and how to manipulate a canvas. We're going to learn how sprites work and it can be moved independently. We're going to learn how screen coordinates differ in an Android system versus what you've learned in math class. We're going to use some timers and we're also going to introduce the concept of a physics engine to detect when we're touching a sprite. First let's talk about a view. What is a view and why do we need one? To understand what a view is in Android I'm going to draw an analogy. Imagine you're watching the Shakespearean play Macbeth. Like most of Shakespeare's plays it has several acts and each act has several scenes. But what exactly defines a scene? Well, each scene is usually defined by a set of actors, some unique arrangement of the furniture, and some custom props designed for that scene. Here we see five different scenes depicted. Just as a director can use a scene to create a unique arrangement of actors, props, and scenery, in Android we can use a view to create a unique arrangement of sprites and movement. In this app, we're going to create a unique view called a MASH view. This view is not going to inherit from Android's standard view class. We're going to use something slightly more sophisticated called the surface view class. One of the advantages of using a surface view instead of a regular view is that the surface view knows how to deal with touch events, which is going to be a key component of our app. The surface view also contains another object called surface holder. Surface Holder contains the canvas and also contains a bunch of utility functions that allow us to manipulate sprites on that canvas. It takes a while for Surface Holder to create the canvas. So instead of holding up the construction of other objects, the Surface Holder constructor returns prematurely. Later on, after the canvas has been finished being built, it returns a callback function to the MASH view to tell it that the surface has now been created and is ready to go. The MASH view patiently waits for the surface created function to be called before starting the game. Now let's talk about screen coordinates. In math class, you typically have an XY coordinate system with the origin in the center. Positive X values go to the right and negative X values go to the left. Positive Y values go upward and negative Y values go downward. But in an Android system, 0, 0 is typically located in the top left corner of the screen and all the coordinates on the screen are positive. Larger x values go to the right and unlike in mathematics larger y values go downward. In our Android MASH game we're going to need to detect when the user touches a sprite. Look at this image with the black rectangle representing the sprite and the red dot representing the point at which the user has touched the screen. Consider how we can use the coordinates of the rectangle and the coordinate of the touch point to figure out if the touch point lies inside the rectangle. For example, consider that our sprite is located between 0, 0 at its uppermost left corner and at 6, 4 in its bottom right corner. Now consider the touch point 5, 3 indicated by the red dot. What mathematical formulas do we need to use to figure out that the red dot lies inside the black rectangle? Likewise, consider a separate touch point at 3, 7 shown in gray. Once again, can we use the same mathematical equations to figure out that the gray point lies outside the black rectangle? Our Android MASH game will also make use of a timer. Although it's hard to tell from looking at the code, the timer runs in a separate thread. If it did not have a separate thread, then nothing else could happen in the main activity while the timer was counting down. Although you may not be aware of it, you've already used separate threads in previous apps that you've built. For example, in the soundboard app you built earlier, the video player that you used also ran in a separate thread behind the scenes. Mm -hmm.